So this is my course, and this is my final reflection on my online course. To answer some of the questions posed in the criteria for this video, I had my class run week to week with a due date. Um, I found that I needed to extend it to one more week, so it ended up being four weeks because I started early. And the students and the parents were dragging their feet and not doing what they were supposed to be doing or following due dates. So here is my dashboard. This is my course. It was geared to fourth and fifth graders. Here's my landing page. I did on several occasions make announcements. Not sure that anybody actually read them or saw them because I got a lot of questions on our Facebook Messenger group about the things that I posted. Even when I said I would be away, they were still messaging me. <clears throat> the, this is my module page. We started with, let's get started, meet your instructor. And here <coughs> I had a video of myself and an introduction and some information. One question, code of conduct, you know, that you're going to do your own work. Ask a question, canvas overview for students, and let's get acquainted. Here are the students. Where I loved our video intros, so this is what I did. I did one for myself, and then the kids did theirs as well. This was a good experience for them because many of them have never had to record themselves, so um, it was very interesting for them, I'm sh as it was for many of us who never had done that before. <coughs> then my mo module, my first module, I probably didn't need to set this up exactly the way that it should have been set up, and this is maybe one of the things that I would take away and set it up a little bit differently. <coughs> Um, module overview just kind of gives the layout of the land of what we're going to be doing <clears throat> then in each lesson there's an introductory video and then an instructional video that I put together with myself giving instruction and with a PowerPoint <clears throat> readings I gave them links to go to and um, books to read that they could download and obviously keep. <clears throat> um, this is a worksheet that they had to fill out and I always put in something extra for fun for those overachievers hoping that some of them were overachievers. We'll come back to student work in a moment uh, to give you some examples of that. And then I had a discussion group, a group discussion, tell what you learned, a general reflection. I wanted to keep this as simple as possible. Um, so we used a KWL format, which many of these kids are familiar with. Please state two things that you knew, two things that you still want to learn, and two things that you learned. <coughs> um, I did put a criteria in there, but unfortunately many of them did not follow the criteria. Um, I got bullets and not sentences. Um, I got three or four sentences, as you can see. So, um, yeah. Um, so, some of them followed the criteria, some of them didn't. <laughs> then I had a quiz, and the quiz was based on the readings and or the video slash videos, um, depending on what it is. Fairly simple. They had three attempts. They got their answers at the end of the attempts. <coughs> okay. And so then they all followed the same suit until we got to 
the second section where I threw in the synchronous class because this is the only time I could really schedule it. And this turned out pretty well, although only half of the students participated. And then in the last module, I also added a, a project, which um, some of these projects were so cute. Um, so when we, I show you some of the work. So they had to create a model of that anim, of an animal, research your animal, create a comic strip, storybook, or create a movie about your animal and its features and characteristics. Be creative. Um, I didn't want the parents doing it, so I really wanted to see that the kids' creativity in this. <clears throat> and again, we had a quiz and whatnot, and so. Um, so let's go ahead to um, student work. Let's see. Um, let's go into Gavin's here. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, wrong student. I wanted Nathan, I'm sorry. Okay, so Nathan did pretty well. He he uh, did most of the he did all the assignments. Um, I wanted to show you one of the. Uh, let's see, invertebrate assignments. This was just one of the assignments that students did. <coughs> Invertebrates. They gave a little scenario and then they needed to fill in information according to additional information that they read. Um, and then let's go into his project. Um, He made models out of clay, which I just thought was adorable. Okay. And um, let's go back out. I had an, another student do a little video. Let me see if I can pull that one up. I think it's this one. He made his project a video and he built his item with um, snakes. His animal was snake. <clears throat> so this is my corn snake that I made. It is a vertebrate. This is its head. This is its one segmented body and it is a reptile and it's also covered in scales it is so those are that's uh, my class in a nutshell <coughs> um, some of the things that I really liked I like creating curriculum this is one of the things that I love doing I love putting together lessons and doing that type of thing. That is um, one of the reasons why I'm in this program. And um, what I would change, I really don't know, except what I said earlier, maybe organize it a little bit better on the 
on the canvas on canvas I think that um, I would like it more if the students participated a little bit more wholeheartedly um, I only had three students complete all of the activities and lessons and participate in everything and I think the thing that surprised me the most is um, the amount of laziness and excuses that I got for this particular thing. I didn't make it very difficult. I wanted it to be an experience for them more so to experience a class online and having due dates and that type of thing and watching videos and what you know and having this interaction online rather than um, in a book or face to face which many of them didn't had actually all of them have not had an online class before so this was a new experience for them um, one of the things that I also think I would have uh, able to better is to test the visibility and accessibility to the videos apparently some people could see them and some people couldn't and I'm not sure why that was the, an issue. A real struggle was the motivation. I don't know how to motivate um, people online. As you had said, even when they are paying money, they don't necessarily um, participate um, and meet deadlines and and have all kinds of excuses. Um, I. I just think it's the way of today's world. I think that um, today's young people want instant gratification. I had one of the students give me feedback saying that if he didn't have to do the readings that, or, or it read it to him, he would like it better. Um, or had no, and another one said no assignments, just to watch the videos and enjoy it. Um, <laughs> Those two gentlemen did not complete the assignments, needless to say. So I think this is um, wrapping it up. Um, I think that this is something I would like to continue to do. Um, I think I would like to continue making classes online and creating them. Um, the grading on Canvas is very easy, so that's not even an issue. And, well... Thank you for this experience. I think it was very beneficial and just um, goes along with why I'm in this program doing this particular um, Master's of Education.